capo. Hello my Capricorn friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is going to be about what Spirit wants you to know for the rest of the month of October. So from October 6th to October 31st. Alright, let's see what we got going on for you guys. Creation, ooh look at that. Remember your thoughts, shape your future, your words create today, your choices become your reality. Happiness, immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. So therefore you, therefore so you think, therefore shall you be. I don't remember how that saying goes exactly. But you, you create what your thoughts start as. Remember your thoughts, share your shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. Well, someone could be dealing with a Libra. So we have love coming in here. Your thoughts about love. Your thoughts about someone new coming into your life. Your Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, possibly cutting out the BS in your own thoughts and in your own life about how to move forward with this. Whatever the this is, forward with everything possibly. Could be dealing with Capricorn energy. Is something you felt tied to, a belief or something that you felt tied to that it's time to cut it out so that you can create the new. Not looking at something in a positive way. Yeah, it's definitely about your thoughts and a, and a painful ending that happened previously or something that's really hurt your heart. That you had to stand up for yourself regarding justice. There's a card of Libra again. Coming up loud and proud. We have like balance and justice coming your way. For the Capricorn. You felt tied to something. It's dealing between your shadow side and your light side. Trying to have positive thoughts. Not knowing how to do it when you're so frustrated. Cutting out the BS between the two brings justice to the situation. Lack of clarity and how to do that. How to start new love. Seems to me there's two people the Divine's trying to get together. And it's going to take great strength to do it. Could be with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's your energy. It's divinely guided that you team this inner beast of fear. This inner thing you've been dealing with. Very divinely guided in order to bring justice and balance to your life. But first you must tame your thoughts. In order to get this happiness you seek. Interesting, right? Happiness. Happiness. Happy home, happy life, happy husband, happy wife. You could be dealing with a situation in court that's between you and a spouse or another somebody, someone's. And you're not seeing the positive in any situation where this is concerned. I understand you're feeling very guarded, but the Wheel of Fortune does want to spin in your favor. Definitely a court situation could be. What Spirit wants you to know is there is a happy outcome coming here. As long as you tame your thoughts because they shape your future. Your words create today, your choices become your reality. So really understand what reality you want to create forward. This is how you create, right? It's about creation. So the choices that you make based on this court scenario will shape your reality, will shape your future. We have Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming in here, feeling very grounded in your emotions or appearing as though you do when we have raging seas all around, trying to be stable in your emotions. Trying to find delight in the smallest of things. Trying to cultivate moments of joy for your life and in yourself. We have healing happening in the midst of all this. This healing, taking time out, asking the divine for clarity about why 
walking away from emotional turmoil straight to your nine of cups you won't accept anything less nine of cups and ten of cups otherwise i'm not interested working learning and growing together maybe going back to school Threes, we have threes. You're all about creating new manifestation in your life right now, aren't you, my Capricorn friends? Walked away from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, possibly. Tried to create healing for yourself. Aries Leo. So you're feeling very passionate about a new start, a new venture, after you've walked away from a time of healing and you want to create this new venture want to possibly become self-employed trying to be stable in your emotions to create what you need to create while you're dealing with this court scenario or you're just dealing with a Aquarius Libra Gemini Virgo or Taurus Aries Leo said everybody's here everybody in the party's here perhaps it's a family situation you're trying to create happiness in trying to create a ten of cups moment trying to shape your reality because as you know your choices shape your reality trying to bring happiness in rough times there's going to be communication between an Aries Leo Sagittarius and a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that brings happiness or you're going to find a way to bring happiness to this circumstance it's been an ending there's been an ending here in some way shape or form and there's going to be communication about that ending the divine's asking you to cultivate fluttering moments of joy Uh, things ended passionate messages about that and starting a new starting a new I'm moving forward at a fast pace or wanting to challenging beginning ingenious idea about how to make this happen for the long term this is about some in some way shape or form encompasses someone's spiritual beliefs about how to create the beauty that you seek and how to move forward the inflow of abundance, new job opportunities, this could be new contracts, new ideas about how to move forward, absolutely. The inflow of abundant ideas, the inflow of abundant creative ways to create, 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 create happiness, 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 happiness. That's what you guys want to do. And I see you're on a trajectory to doing that for the long term. Ten of Pentacles, what did I just say? A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Two of Swords, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Well, the problem is cards just fell on the floor and now I gotta pick them up. So, someone might feel like everything has just fallen apart and now you gotta pick up the pieces and move forward and upward and onward and you're not even sure how to create this happiness, how to create from the past issues Yep, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. I look at this card as holding on to past ideas, past ways of doing things, so it doesn't help you have a st stable idea as to how to create the new. A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. So it is a complex decision, no wonder there's confusion around it. Try to find balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So that's why perhaps the confusion is there. The inability to make the decision is because perfect timing has not been reached. Could be dealing with a Virgo. We're going inward, spending t quiet time in meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. Let's get best advice from the angels, please, from my Capricorn friends. Best advice from the angels, from my Capricorn friends in this situation. How to create the abundance they seek which truly seems to be happiness. No, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide or comfort you. So whatever you're thinking about in the circumstance or situation during this reading, the divine wants you to look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. <clears throat> You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become <coughs> sorry, inspired by your example. So whatever's going on here is going to bring about public recognition. It's going the divine is using a situation 
or some sort of thing so that when you look back on it in hindsight and people look back on it in hindsight, they are going to be inspired by what you've gone through and how you've come through it and the beauty that you've created on the other side. This is so beautiful. My Capricorn friends, I know that you're all going through a tumultuous, well, some of you are, a tumultuous time, whoever this reading is for, but it's about creating the utmost happiness that you seek and the divine is going to use this journey you've been on to inspire others. Wowzas, just saying. Mm -hmm. Someone might be thinking about speaking in public about their things they've learned in life. Did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide, stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. I hope this resonates with somebody out there. Blessings to you and I'll talk to you again soon.